Hey, jeez! Welcome back to my summertime rendering reactions. We are ending the show with episode 25. And last time, last time we had a final battle with Shide. We were able to defeat him. And um, all the shadows disappeared. Haine disappeared. Hiroko, Hiroko disappeared. And now we're going through the last reset, I think. We're, um, we're just going through the last reset. Probably an epilogue of sorts. Which probably means this video is gonna be short where I just kind of watch and just talk about what I enjoyed about it. So, I loved the show. So, I hope they do the epilogue justice. I hope it's happy. Usho is probably dead, but at least he's is gonna be alive, I think. I think. Uh, I'm actually looking at uh, 10 seconds in because I had to check if OBS was recording. I'm actually seeing Hizuru, so I'm assuming Hizuru's alive. Which is great because I, I don't know which one I put at the best go. Hizuru or Ushio. Because I like both of them a bit too much. <laughs> That's why I was so sad when they both died. Like seriously. I think I'm done. Are you gonna watch this? So, there's going to be two versions of this reaction video. I'll be sharing a picture version which you find in the description below. And time piece version which you're watching right now. If you want to sing your own jet to the time version, you can do that with a 5 call down and call down for 5 because that's what they do. And a 0 is the same thing, my video says play on my screen. I'm gonna go back to very beginning. I just had to check if it OBS was recording because uh, it's only a black screen in frame one, so I can't really check if I do that. Um, okay, timer will go here. Summertime rendering. Okay, let me check my recording. Oshio and boobs. Great. Okay, great. We have, we have credits, so we probably won't get an opening. Hell yeah, she's alive! Now smack him. Now smack him. You remember her? Oh, does he retain his memories? I mean, he retains his memories. I did not expect that. Oh my god, I feel you dude, I wanna cry too. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yep. Awesome squid. Tourism and fishing. We reset and he has his memories. I did not ex July 22nd, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Mio, Mio Panda shot incoming. Mio Panda shot. <laughs> Never mind, we're not, we're not getting it. <gasps> Yeah, what am I doing? Hey! This is great! Toy coin, yo, so. Oh. Yeah, I wonder why. It's almost like you watch everyone die multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Ushu alive? Is Ushu alive? Wait, 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 Ushu is alive? 
You're just alive! Hell yeah! Oh, is he stopped? <laughs> hey, Nezu. Hmm. Wait, is his parents alive? Or his parents alive? I can grammar. Don't make him curry. Tempura! I want some. <laughs> oh, we're going back a day in Tokyo. I don't really want to see her or anything. Baka! Ba ba baka! <laughs> ah, it's a good epilogue so far. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's cool because it's ice cream. These kids. Shippe! Right. You go and keep it. Like a married couple. What is that? Fireworks, all at the festival. And then she then shows up again and everyone's dead. Heinz alive?
Doesn't the hito mean one person or something like that? Huh. Oh. Huh. Really? Really? Okay. Um, please don't tell me you're bad. <laughs> Getting rid of that will really change a lot. Oh, that's the thing you gave her, or is it? I don't remember exactly. I mean, it's a pretty small island. What is it? Najirokun. Ski this. Oh, it good. Aww. Aww. We're getting song. What? What? Nice. Nice. <laughs> so get this. Come on, say it. Hey. Hey!
Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. No kiss. <laughs> You keep mentioning his hair. Now kiss. <laughs> kiss! Ready for it. Uh, isn't that the day of the festival? If I'm mistaken, if I'm remembering right? I think so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. I've never heard of that one. Leonoski is alive! Hello, sister. Is that Heine? Is that Heine? It, it is Heine. I couldn't tell. Her hair is completely different. She looks so different. Leonoske sounds so different growing up. <laughs> That's her do his daughter now. Interesting. Hey, is that? Shiori, or whatever her name was, that's great. Huh, what? Same. It's fine, I still love you, Hizuru. I freaking love Hizuru. Yeah, she is. Let's let this end in a uh, Ushio and Shinpei confessing. Or kissing. Or both. Or falling. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, take a photo. That's sweet. Why oh, shy? Why oh, shy? Why oh, shy? 
I just part of the people that's carrying it. It's great. We're getting credits. Time has overwritten summer. That's a great line. I haven't yet. Ah. <laughs> Get a good lesson, Bio. Go for it, dude. You're gonna get rejected, but go for it. <laughs> She's enjoying herself. <laughs> Writing that manuscript. She's enjoying herself. Summertime rendering, mate! Oh my god! Hell yeah! Oh, I thought it was gonna be- oh, because it's obvious! Saturday. it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why don't we get to see the rest? Come on. Come on, Cho. Give it to us. Give it to me. I need I need it. Takoyari. Takoyari. Thank you. Yeah. I ate eight pieces a few a few days ago with some friends. We had eight each. <laughs> That's a great time at the fireworks. I remember that, by the way, the line back then. That's great. Great. I'm home. That's the tile. Summertime rendering. Hell yeah. Good job, show. Good job. I like this so much. Strawberries. You're being a bit too messy, Mio. <laughs> Day to you. Oh. 
Oh, she's 18 now. I think we're done. That was great. That's all about this episode. Okay. Um, uh, epilogue. And it's a really good epilogue. A really good one. Um, I'm gonna check something. Give me a moment. Oh, you good. I'm just making sure. Oh, it's something. Uh, yeah. Really good epilogue. Um, I did not expect this. I did not expect this to be so wholesome. Um, I, I know, I expected it to be wholesome. I, ex I didn't expect this to be so satisfying. <laughs> Um, I did not expect this to be something where it's such a happy ending, where a lot of the show so far has been kind of traumatic, that I didn't expect that they would go for a super happy ending where everything is fixed. So, yeah, I did not expect that. Okay, we're now Gumori Yonosuke, we met before, you, you know my secret, blah blah blah. Uh, great stuff. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't have much about Dawa to be honest. Um, uh, circumstances are different. I do like the idea that once Hiroko's presence was not presence, but you know, existence was removed, pretty much everything is fixed. Everything's solved. So it was Hiroko all along. Um, what are you doing? And they're here. The moment that I smiled so much was when they were like. Ushio's gonna punch you, and I'm like, oh, Ushio's alive! <laughs> I don't know who I pick as best girl, Hizuro or Ushio. I think I like Hizuro a tiny, tiny bit more than Ushio. <laughs> I don't know. And she actually stops the punch. I like the little uh, foreshadowing of a. Uh, not really foreshadowing, but setup for calling him Shinpei there. Probably because she missed him so much. We're still looking for the pendant, or whatever. I wanna check something. Sorry, so sad, but I'm coming back in with another other thing. Okay, so his parents are alive. <laughs> um, I did not expect that. Um, again, I just didn't expect it to. Be all okay. <laughs> so yeah. This guy's good. Okay, we're going here. We go we're going around. We hear Ushia's voice. Great. Calling him Ajiro. And freaking and the kids are tat tattling on Ushio saying that uh, she kept calling you Shinpei. Why did she call you that there? <laughs> Didn't she call me Ajiro? Well, okay, the, I like the whole idea of um, Shinpei having the dream and then making sure that everyone's okay. That is... Mm. The whole idea of having... Again, this just reminds me of Steins Gate. <laughs> because it has some similarities with the time travel mechanics. That's why it keeps reminding me of that. Where in Steins Gate, spoilers, by the way, um, at the end, uh, strong emotions um, uh, re go get ah, frick. strong emotions bring back um, memories from other world lines, other parallel worlds. So that's interesting. Um, reminds me of Steins Gate. Even though after a bit, after a bit of Steins Gate, it, like the the time travel mechanics actually changed, so it's not it's entirely the same. So yeah, they the shrine. This this is she there, right? I forgot his first, last name. That's what I forgot his real name. That's why I'm pretty sure this kid Kari Kitty, I think is his first is his uh real name. And he's old, so he didn't really get the whole um <laughs> the whole immortality treatment, so that makes sense. Um Yeah, so he's probably just a good old um just 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 a regular shrine guy. Priest, shrine guy, priest. Um, yeah. Shinpei needs to check on something. The little conversation is cute. The shadow thing is cute. The, the insert song is really good, by the way. And then the shadow, and then seeing the pendant and finding it again. Nice. This pendant has really like a lot of sentimental value for her. So. 
I kind of like the fact that uh, the pendant also is very important in the show. Like, a lot of uh, Ushio's abilities actually ended up being used on the pendant, and it's great. The Shadow Ushio specifically. And then we're going to freaking festival, and it's also Haine's birthday. Um, Haine became Ryunosuke's daughter. I don't know how that worked out. Probably just some kind of butterfly effect kind of thing. I don't know. Because the thing is, Haine was already alive before. So, did she reincarnate? Or is it like a thing where she wasn't born back then because it's a completely it's a complete different timeline? And now she was born as Ryunosuke's daughter. I don't know which one it is. So, interesting. Okay. Dreams, memories from another world, from another timeline. I've read a lot online. Uh, I want to see the book name. Strange Out of Eva. Awesome. I've never heard of that book before. I do kind of like Rinosuke. He's, he's off. Isn't Rinosuke older than uh, Izuru? If I'm not mistaken? Because uh, they mentioned that like uh, he, he, he's kind of younger because he died at a younger age, but he's actually supposed to be older. Also, Heidi looks so different. The only. I think the only similar thing. Eyes? Are the eyes the same? I can't tell. They're very different. She looks completely different. I do like uh, Ryunosuke's little uh, meddling in the conversation. <laughs> the whole thing of. She's writing a new book. She, she's Also, she's very excited to have met a fan. <laughs> I also freaking love the fact that Hizuru actually ended up feeling kind of flustered because Hizuru's cute as all heck. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's keep going. Again, I don't have much to say. It's just a good epilogue all throughout. Um, let's see if I can tell you what the book is about. What is pacing out for? This would have never been possible in in the past world lines. I keep calling it world lines, but you know what I mean. Because I keep thinking of Steins Gate. Um, yeah. This has never been possible. This would have never been possible. <laughs> so great. What is it? I want to write this. Time is overwritten summer. It's passing a relief, but also can be lonely. Time is overwritten summer. It's such a great line. Especially since uh, it literally happened. Like, time just kept going back and back and forth and back and forth because of Shinbei's ability. But now, um,. Now that it's all done, time is over, isn't it? Like, time is moving forward. Ah, I like that. Okay. Why don't we get the response from Neo? I want... I mean, she didn't say no, so it's probably a positive response. It's probably a yes, or a, a let me think about it. I, I don't know. It might have been quite personal. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you. I freaking love the... The messy, the messy face. You broke me on this level. And summertime rendering by Nagumori Inosuke. <sighs> um, at first I wanted to say, uh, when I first saw this, is, is it like one of those things where, oh, it's funny because it's like, do you even know if it's supposed to be like, the, the, the entirety of the show is like, supposed to be a story written by this person, a dream by this person, or if it actually happened, no. We actually get an answer later with a... Uh, with a... Uh, Ushio and Shinpei. It's great. Okay. Did I make one? You know that one time, I can't remember. Oh, you mean then? When we were trying to get through that little gap in the old hospital. Remember that, nice. Oh, said so you buy, buy me terror even a hundred pieces. And then fireworks! And everything is, is great! Welcome back, Chimbei! The Dino, and it's great! And, and they don't even need to confess because they already confessed multiple, a few times, I think twice, uh, in, in the past uh, timelines. That's great! It's great! It's great. And it's in the title. I'm home. Oh my god, this is such a good episode. 
This is such a good way to end the show. And we're celebrating Usha's birthday. I think I'm done with, uh, with the episode. We're gonna talk about rating, and we're gonna talk about what I like about the show and all that stuff. Okay, so a while back, like a long time ago, I had this rubrics. Rubric, I don't know how to pronounce that. But where, um... I give, I give a score of 0 to 10 and then I average everything out based on the rubrics and then I stopped doing that because I feel like I feel like it's a very cheap way of doing things where I honestly would just rather go through the entire uh, stuff and just um, give us give it give it like uh, like a, what I think about it tell tell you what I tell you guys what I think about this like for characters for story that kind of stuff and then I would go around and just give it a score at the end without really thinking about what it, without really giving it like a, like a, like a mathematical value. Let's go through characters first. I love the characters in the show. Like, Hizuru and Ushio are amazing, but even Haine is very interesting. Like, Haine's character is so interesting. Like, she's literally one of my favorite characters in the show. And I did not expect that. <laughs> because I, you know, I was talking about this last episode, but I honestly think that because of how Haine was written, I ended up thinking, I ended up feeling like she does uh, more evil, like much the twirly kind of evilness made more sense and I ended up liking it a bit more. And now that we actually see Karakiri as like without, without Hizuru, I actually end up thinking that it's the power, it's the power that he had corrupted him and that's a very interesting way to write that character um Shinpei is an interesting protagonist I think he's one of the best mystery protagonists I've ever seen especially in anime because I don't know he has this charm to him that is really interesting where um he always keeps a level head and he uh tries his best to save everyone which is usually not like usually a lot of the time when uh, characters try to save everyone, they just end up being characters that are very, very in tune with their emotions, and then they just do like uh, 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 freak. My brain isn't working. I can slap myself. Does it work now? Does it work now? Oh, it's working now. It's like uh, they're very short tempered. For the most part, whenever it's that kind of character, so uh, having a very cool-headed, level-headed kind of character is interesting. Um, the relationship between the characters are amazing. Um, Neo being Neo being in love with Shinpei is cool. Uh, the whole love, <laughs> what's the word for it? The whole love um, shape. <laughs> Let's go with that. Is a uh, very complex, and I quite like it. Um, uh, other than that, the characters are solid. I, some of the like supporting cast are even like some are really cool as well. Like Nezu, I did not expect Nezu to have that much depth to, as a character, but he does. Freaking uh, Tokiko, Tokiko being part of the villains and then later uh, realizing that uh, that she's being used is very creative. Um, it's, it's it's a neat way to do the characters and all the characters are really cool. I think the only issue that I, the only character I have some issues with is Shide, but it's not even that big of an issue. I still like him. I, I gave this I gave Shide like a seven point five out of ten as a score, and that's really high for me as a character. And pretty much everyone else like a nine or ten, like seriously. So, yeah, everyone is a good character in the show. So yeah, other than that, we're gonna move on to the next aspect of the show, which is the music and sound design. I think this show has some of the best. Um, insert songs and I don't mean that in the way that I think the songs themselves are the best I think they choose really good insert songs for very specific moments and that's what I like about the music specifically sound design it's nothing too crazy but I, I think it's good it's good enough for what it does and it's actually better at certain moments especially with the fights and uh, the, the, the very tense moments they, they do such a good job of handling those um, other than that, we're gonna move on to the next one. Animation and art. We're gonna go through animation first. I think animation is surprisingly really good. Like, uh, they don't animate that much when it comes to, like, the talking portions, which is, there's a lot of, because it's a mystery. But they do animate the fights really, really well. 
I talked about this multiple times before, but I genuinely was very surprised at how good the animation were for the fights. And I just didn't expect that. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that. So I think I think they do such a good job of that. Art, uh, it's nothing too crazy. Sorry, sorry. It's probably its weakest point. Uh, I do like the fact that everyone looks different. Uh, this is something that I like to bring up whenever art is involved in an anime. Because I was talking about this in uh, my next episode of Villainous Always Need to Do about how certain characters look very similar with just different color eyes and hair. Um, this show doesn't have that. I think all the characters look very unique. So yeah, I, th I think they did such a good job doing that. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, world building. I think the world building in the show is god tier. <laughs> um, like it's godly. Like they did such a good job pretty much everything except for one which I'm going to talk about a bit later. But um, um, I think I think the world building, the whole aspect of uh, you, the whole reset and everything is really cool. The only issue that I have with it is something about the shadows. First of all, I, I do like the concept of shadows. I do like the concept of like uh, turning everyone to shadows and then returning to the shadow world where we can find peace for the shadows. But at the same time, there's an issue that I have with the shadows' powers. Specifically, Ushio's shadows' powers. Sh Ushio's shadow, shadow Ushio's powers, I can speak. And Shinpei's and Ushio's uh, Hiroko Ai. They seem to just do anything. <laughs> They seem to just do anything the plot demands them to, and that's an issue. I mean, to a certain degree, I kind of get it. The Hiroko Ai has power over space and time, so of course it's going to be powerful to control time. And a lot of a lot of the show is about time travel, so it's interesting. But I don't know, it's, it's just a, a bit too powerful for me that... Uh, Ushio was able to reset everything and make sure that Rizuru is not part of this uh, world line and make it so that um, Make it so that everyone is happy. That's a bit too much, but it is a good ending like I would I, I would have been okay with it being like slightly bittersweet, but this is actually really good So I'm okay with it. It's just like my my power system brain is just excuse me my power system brain Excuse me, that was I had to throw something. My power system brain is just going here while I'm thinking about that. Okay, that is a fire fire truck. Okay, it's gone. Now it's there. <laughs> um, mm. uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is um, what else? I forgot. I, I forgot because of the fire truck. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, the whole aspect of time travel is really interesting in the show, where you. Shinpei retains the memories, so that's interesting, and yeah, I like that. Um, the the ending for for uh, for the show is also really ro deeply rooted within the world building and the power system that this show has. So I did enjoy it. So I'm okay with it. Like even if I kind of complain about the whole Hiroko I being being too powerful, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Let's talk about plot and storytelling. So the difference is plot talks about what the story is about, storytelling talks about how that story is told. Plot, I think, is probably one of the best things that I've seen as of late. Like it's, it's such a well thought out, well planned story that it's just something I can only marvel at. It's it's really good. Hmm. It's really good. I can't really say anything much about it. Storytelling. Um, they did such a good job of telling the story. Making me feel very emotional for the characters, even though I didn't really cry for any of them. <laughs> I almost cried when Hizuru died. I almost cried, um, and I screamed a lot when uh, Ushio died. Not really screamed, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> Storytelling is really good. Uh, if we involve like stuff like direction and stuff like that, I think they also do good stuff with it. Nothing too crazy though. I think they just have a good handle on it, but nothing, nothing too extravagant. You know what I mean. Um, I think I'm done. I'm giving this an 8 or a 9. Let me figure it out first. Let me figure out if, if I can subtract some points to this or whether I give it an 8 or a 9. I think the biggest issue that I have is with the power system and how 
um, how Hiroko's eye is just a bit too powerful. Um, and uh, how Usha seems to just be able to do whatever she needs to do at that moment. I mean, it's kind of grounded, but still. Um, other than that, I think the other issue that I have is with Shide. Shide is the least interesting character, but it's still very interesting, so not that much points back minus for that. I think I'll give this an 8. A uh, solid 8.4, if you will, and we're just going to round that down to an 8. So 8.4 8 for uh, Mal, it's going to be an 8. I think that's it. So, we are done with summertime rendering. That was such a fun ride. I loved every second of it. I think, oh, that's, I should also talk about this. I think uh, in terms of storytelling, I think they did such a good job pacing the story. I think one of the biggest issues that I end up having with, um, with mystery shows is that they pace the show a bit too slowly. But this, this show actually is uh, very well balanced with how it's paced. So yeah, just, just, enough, just to add that there. Um, I think I'm done. So, that is it for me. You know what will replace this? This will be replaced by something completely different. Delicious in Dungeon. Uh, there was a tie over on Patreon and now I put the poll up on YouTube and Delicious in Dungeon 1. I was kind of expecting that. To be honest, I was actually surprised that Link Link actually had like, uh, like 40% votes in like the first day. But now it's like 20, 25% I think. When I last checked it earlier before I started this recording. So yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> We're watching Delicious in Dungeon, which is a completely different show from this. So uh, I know very few about it. I know that it's about I know there's cooking involved. That's about it. I think I'm done. Uh, so if you wanna see the first episode of Delicious in Dungeon a week earlier than everyone else, you can do that with the official link below. We're gonna help out and have to do it again. That would mean the world helps out a lot. So leave a like on this, subscribe to the channel, all the fun stuff in. Bye!